Hi, it's Miss Erin from the Saranac Clarksville District Library, back for another virtual story time. Do you guys remember our song? Let's sing it. So if you want to read a book, clap your hands. If you want to read a book, clap your hands. If you want to read a book, sit down and take a look. If you want to read a book, clap your hands. If you want to read a book, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. If you want to read a book, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. If you want to read a book, sit down and take a look. If you want to read a book, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. If you want to read a book, sit and go. Shh. If you want to read a book, sit and go. Shh. If you want to read a book, sit down and take a look. If you want to read a book, sit and go. Shh. Okay, so good job. So today, our story time is about names. It's pretty exciting. So our first book is called, My Name is Elizabeth by Annika Dunkley. Okay. My name is Elizabeth. My name is Elizabeth. I really like my name. I like that it's nine letters long. And I like all the neat things in my, I like all the neat things my mouth does when I say it. Hmm. I also like that there is a queen named after me. But I don't like it when people call me names other than Elizabeth. Hmm. She says, come give your old granddad a hug, Lizzie. That's not Elizabeth. She says, sigh. Hmm. Her friend says, yo, Liz, what's up? And she goes, it's the Liz Abeth. Someone else goes, hi, Beth. And she goes, my name is Eliza Beth. Hmm. Ooh. Good morning, Betsy. She goes, not even close. Hmm. Let's see. My name is Elizabeth Alfreda Roxanne Carmelita Bluebell Jones. Whew, that's a name. Yeah. But you may call me Elizabeth. Says, Good afternoon, Elizabeth. Hi, Miss Evelyn. Here's a nice pumpkin for your family, Elizabeth. Thank you, Mr. Lee. Hey, Elizabeth. Hiya, Billy. Now, how's about that hug, Elizabeth? You bet, Granddad. Hmm, that's so nice. Oh, Elizabeth. Hmm. That's close enough. The end. Her name was Elizabeth, and that's what she liked to be called. Hmm, do you guys have any nicknames that you actually like to be called? Hmm. All right, so now we're gonna do a song 
That's about the names of our body parts. So we're gonna do about heads, shoulders, knees, and toes. You guys know that one? Okay, so it goes head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Ready guys? Catch them as we say them. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Are you ready? Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Good job! You guys must have already known that one. You guys are pros at it. Okay. Well, now that we've done that, we have another book. So this book is called Amy Wu and the Patchwork Dragon by Kat Sang. Ooh. Amy Wu and the Patchwork Dragon. During story time, Miss Mary reads Amy's class a book about dragons. Dragons that hoard treasure. Dragons that blow fire. Dragons that fight knights in gleaming armor. Afterwards, she tells everyone to make their own dragons. Make them special, she says. Make them yours. So Sam draws a dragon with enormous teeth and he crafts wings from postage stamps. Willa sculpts a dragon with a big fat belly and she strings daisies for the tail. Amy paints a dragon with a long, thin body. It has horns like a stag and claws like an eagle. Are you sure that's a dragon? Asks Sam. It doesn't look like a dragon, adds Willa. Do you think that looks like a dragon? Ooh, I do. Hmm, Amy says. Maybe they're right. Amy scribbles with her pencil and doodles with her crayons. She glues beads to the paper and some of her hair. Oh no. Bits of dragons emerge. Dragons with shiny green scales. Dragons with leathery wings. They look great. They look just like the dragons in Miss Mary's book. But none of them work. None of them feel quite right. None of these dragons are what Amy wanted to make. Hmm. Time to clean up, says Miss Mary. I'm not done, cries Amy. The rest of the class puts their dragons on the show and tell table, but there's nothing from Amy. Nothing at all. Hmm. Willa and Sam come over after school, 
but Amy can't even smile. Oh dear, says Amy's grandma. Why the sad face? So Amy tells her. Her grandma gets a twinkle in her eye. Come, she says. Let me tell you a story. Ooh. Oh, look at those dragons. She tells them about dragons that bring down the rain. Look at those dragons. And she tells them that dragon about dragons that are wise and just. Dragons that fly without wings. Amy runs to the attic. She remembers where she got the idea for her dragon. She pulls out something red and yellow, something with a big fat, fat snout and golden horns. A dragon, gasps Sam and Willa. A dragon, agrees Amy. Amy's grandma puts on the costume's head and Amy puts on the tail. They go. Together they dance down the attic steps and roar through the house. There it is. Look at them go. Maybe you can bring it to school, says Sam. Hmm. Please, please bring it to school, begs Willa. Hmm says Amy. She thinks about the dragons in Miss Mary's book. She thinks about the dragons in Grandma's story. Bringing this dragon to class would be great, but there's something missing. Something to make the dragon Amy's. Hmm, I wonder what's missing. So after Sam and Willa go home, Amy begins to plan. She shows her sketches to her family. Will you help me? She asks. Hmm. So they measure out fabric and cut it into shape. They carve a cardboard frame and fasten the cloth. Amy knots together three silk scarves, and then she adds some beads and some glitter and a little more glitter, just because. Ready? Grandma asks. Amy takes a deep breath. Ready, she says. Amy comes to school with a big paper bag. That big bag. The other children gather around. Is it your dragon? asks Willa. Show us, cries Sam. Ooh, I wonder what it looks like now. You can kind of see it. Amy puts on the dragon's head. And she invites Willa and Sam beneath the dragon's tail. Together they dance through the classroom and roar between the desks. Everybody cheers. Miss Mary laughs so hard she can't even breathe. Look at, look at a dragon. Amy's dragon is red and yellow. It has a big fat snout and golden horns. It has enormous green wings 
and a tail of three silk scarves, and beads, and glitter. <gasps> Lots of glitter. It works splendidly, and it feels just right. It is exactly the dragon Amy wanted to make. Look how beautiful it is. Everybody's so excited. So the end. So Amy Wu and the Patchwork Dragon. That was such a good book about a dragon just for her. Hmm. All right, so now it's flannel board time. So today, well, let's, let me bring this out and we can see what it is. <gasps> what is this? Is that a spider web? So of course we have a spider. Oh gosh, she's in his web. Let's put him right there. Ooh, I can barely reach. All right, so there's our spider. And this spider doesn't eat bugs. He eats letters. So, we have a song that goes with it. So let's see. What letter is that? That's an M. So we go, the spider catches an M. The spider catches an M. This is the letter M. Now in the web it goes. So do any of your names start with the letter M? Like maybe Megan or Mary. Hmm. What about this letter? So the what letter is that? Is that an N? So the spider catches an N. The spider catches an N. This is the letter N. Now in the web it goes. Hmm. Does anybody have a name that starts with the letter N? Do we have any Nicole's or maybe a Natalie? Starts with the letter N. Hmm. All right, let's try another letter. What letter is this? That's a C. So the spider catches a C. The spider catches a C. This is the letter C. Now in the when it goes. Do we have anybody with names that start with the letter C? Maybe a Kathy or a Caleb or even a Kate. All right, we have a couple letters left. So what letter is this? That's a letter E. So the spider catches an E. The spider catches an E. This is the letter E. Now in the web it goes. Hmm, so who out there has a name that starts with the letter E? My name, Erin, starts with an E. Do we have any, maybe an Amory? Erica? Eric? Right, we have one more letter. Letter is this. The letter A, the spider catches an A. The spider catches an A. This is the letter A. Now in the web it goes. Do we have anyone out there with the letter A? The book we just read was about a girl named Amy. That starts with an A. Or maybe a name like Autumn or Addie. Those starts with A. But that's all our letters. Let's go over them one more time. What letter is that? I'll get closer so you guys can see. What letter is that? That is the letter C. N, M, E, 
and A. Well, that spider's gonna be so full of letters, I think. All right. That was a good one. We fed that spider those letters. All right. So, hmm. I think we have time for one more book. And this book is about someone whose name starts with the letter C. C for Carabella. It's called Carabella's Teeth by Anne Vrombot. What kind of animal is Carabella? Is she a crocodile or maybe an alligator? Hmm. Let's see. I have a lot of teeth. Carabella's teeth. It's time to wake up. Ruby brushes her rabbit teeth and Liam brushes his leopard teeth. Max brushes his monkey teeth and Zoe brushes her zebra teeth. Hmm, and Clarabella, hmm. She brushes and brushes her crocodile teeth. Look at all the teeth she has. Hmm, I wonder what the, what do you think a problem could be with having that many teeth? And it's playtime. Ruby builds a sandcastle. Liam races his scooter. Max makes a mess. And Zoe plays with a puzzle. Where's Clarabella? What do you think she's doing? She brushes and brushes and brushes her crocodile teeth. Oh no. Hmm. But now it's lunchtime. Ruby nibbles a ripe mango. Liam licks a lollipop. Max sips a milkshake. And Zoe munches a sandwich. But well, where's Clarabella? What do you guys think she's doing? <gasps> she brushes and brushes and brushes and brushes her crocodile teeth. Oh, she's still brushing. Oh no. <gasps> so now it's tumble time. Ruby rolls over. Liam leaps. Max bounces up and down. Zoe spins round and round and round. And where's Clarabella? <gasps> she has brushed all her crocodile teeth and is ready to play. But where are her friends? <gasps> I wonder. <gasps> They're getting ready for bed. It's time to brush our teeth, says Zoe and Liam and Max and Ruby. And Clarabella, she sighs a long crocodile sigh. But then Ruby has an idea. Close your eyes, Clarabella. It's a surprise. Hmm. What do you think the surprise could be? <gasps> it's a crocodile toothbrush for Clarabella. Hooray, cheer Ruby and Liam and Max and Zoe. Tomorrow we can all play together. And Clarabella, she smiles a big crocodile smile. The end. She had so many teeth, it took her all day to brush them. Well, 
I mean, I brush my teeth every day, twice a day, actually, when I get up and when I go to bed. You guys brush your teeth twice a day, every day? Yes. Should you? Yes. All right. Well, that's the end of story time because that was our last book. Thanks for coming to story time with me, Miss Erin from the Saranac Clarksville District Library. And I'm so happy we get to spend this time together and do our rhymes and our songs and read our books. So I hope you enjoyed this name story time. And I can't wait to see you guys next week. Bye.